Sometimes a man can feel an emptiness Like a woman has robbed him of his fair soul When the world seems cold, you got to let your spirit take control. Shout out to our good friend, Captain Kirk, for making this evening of music possible for you. Captain Kirk asks one thing, it's just that we keep the music alive and y'all get out there and vote this November. Take action, be a part of it, make this a better city and a better world to live in, as uh, Earl King would say. Anyways, we are uh, very excited to be here tonight with a New Orleans blues legend. A lot of people associate New Orleans uh, you know, with jazz, with funk, soul, early rock and roll. R&B, which is of course the case, uh, because we do that finer than anything. But what they don't sometimes, uh, what they forget to mention is that we also have some of the best blues players you're ever going to hear, and Mim Shannon is one of the finest examples of that. So it's an honor to have him here with us at the Funky Uncle Lounge tonight. We appreciate everyone tuning in. We are raising money for our Funk Fund, and that is to help local musicians here in town, and of course keep bringing these great bands in to play these shows for you. So please, 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 if you can, spare a few dollars to help out the Funk Fund. We'd appreciate that. Got to give a big shout out to our crew. We've actually got a new location. Same, the lounge is in the same place, but they switched things up tonight and made it look even better. I know that was a lot of work, but uh, they're the best at what they do. So appreciate your crew and appreciate everyone that's making this happen. We'd also like to dedicate this evening's performance to our friend, Mr. Blaine Kern and the Kern family, who without the Kern family, I wouldn't be standing on a Mardi Gras float right now, and uh, Mardi Gras would look a lot different, so big shout out to them, and uh, much love for, uh, for them and for helping us out, and of course, the crew of Tux. So, anyways, with no further ado, let's let these fine musicians do what they do best. Mim Shannon in the membership, right here at the Funky Uncle Lounge, this is Soul Stu saying, wash your hands and stomp your feet. <laughs> Love, feel my love coming down. 
I know we got people out there, we just can't see them. But we're going to try to feel y'all via the internet, via cyberspace. I want to thank y'all for coming out tonight, even though you're not really here. Let's do a shuffle and see, boys.
closet packed with glue. Every day I have a closet packed with glue. If you see me drunk, girl, if you did, I hate to lose. Oh, every day I drink myself a six pack of blue. If you catch me drunk, girl, if you did, I hate to lose. Nobody loves me, nobody seems to care. No, nobody loves me, nobody seems to care. Words and trouble, well, you know that I've had my share. back. We don't have much room in here. I'm going to take a squig of this stuff that looks like water. Don't mind me. <coughs> That's so strong. That got to be Mississippi River water right there. Strong.
free, 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 I'm free, baby. Cause I'm free from your spell. gentlemen out there in the digital world, welcome to the Funky Uncle Lounge. My name is Soul Stu, and it's an honor to be here with the great Mim, Shannon, and the membership, one of New Orleans' greatest blues legends. And we hope everyone out there at home is digging in. If you are, hey, tell your friends, bring them to the party. Let's all get in it together. Drop us a line in the comments. Let us know where you're listening from, watching from, and how you're feeling out there. Of course, we are raising money for our funk fund. That's where we uh, gather funds to help out our local musicians. So far, Mean Willie Green, Johnny Vodakovich, uh, Many others who haven't been able to play here at the Funky Uncle have still gotten to receive some support in these tough times thanks to your donation. So we really appreciate that. We want to keep bringing the music to you. As many of you know, we are entering the phase two, which is great. Uh, restaurants and bars are beginning to open here in New Orleans, but unfortunately, the music clubs have not. So we still need to help our local musicians more than ever. So we appreciate all your love. And of course, appreciate all the great tunes that these bands are bringing to you. So with no further ado, let me turn it back over to these fine musicians. Let them do what they do best. But Mim, how you feeling down there, my man? I'm doing all right. Yeah, man, you, getting, you been getting by in these crazy times or what? Oh, man, please. This, feel, is, <laughs> this is a year to remember, isn't it? I hear that, man. Feel good to hit with these guys again, though? Sorry, I didn't hear that. I said, does it feel good to hit with the band again? Oh, yeah, yeah, we got to get some of the rust and dust off, man. <laughs> I like it's been it. a while. But with plenty of grease still on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Well, we appreciate you, man. Well, y'all take it away. Hey, remember, wash your hands, stomp your feet. And, and wash your face. <laughs> Don't fit your shoes, and I can't walk the way that you do. My hands don't fit your glove. I may not love the things that you love. My eyes don't see what you see. I gotta do what's best for me. I can't live my life with your face. I gotta run my own race Just trying to make it through my day And I don't want to get nobody's way I'm just a man And I'm doing the best that I can I'm just a man And I'm doing the best that I can
Thank you. We can hear all of cyberspace giving us a standing ovation. I feel it rumbling over here on Washington Avenue. We hope everybody out there in cyberspace is coping with COVID and stuff. I hope nobody's missed any meals over this the course of events. You can tell that I have. It's enough with the jokes. Everybody want to know, everybody want to know. 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 Everybody wants to know why I sing the blues. Everybody want to know why I sing the blues. Been around a long time. the blue
kids gonna grow up, grow up to be a fool. But they don't have enough books for him in school, and everybody wanna know. I've been away from the mic a while. I'm getting hoarse already. Amen. Can't hear that.
You're messing with my mind, baby. Keep on accusing me of doing wrong.
You know I gotta catch a bus way downtown. And if I come home a few minutes late, you wanna kill me of fooling around? There you go again, girl. on accusing me, accusing me of doing wrong. Now I can see your lights on, baby. I can't see, I swear I don't see, I don't believe nobody's home. Ain't nobody home. Thank you very much, y'all. All right. Thank you so much. Mim Shannon in the membership, y'all. Live right here at the Funky Uncle Lounge. To say hello to everyone out there in the digital world. Hope y'all are boogieing down wherever you are. Of course, thank our great crew for making it look and sound so fantastic. We are raising money for our Funk Fund to help keep bringing these great musicians in here. So if you could help us out, please do. We'd like to give a big thank you and shout out to our good friend, Captain Kirk, for making this whole thing happen. Captain Kirk wants everyone out there to register to vote, to go and vote, to get involved. Things need to change. It's very plain and obvious, so that's the only way to do it, y'all. So please, get involved. Captain Kirk told you, Soul Stew's telling you. So big shout out to him and all of us here at the Funky Uncle. Mim Shannon's killing it. Listen, y'all, we all know where the blues came from. One invented by my ancestors, and we are honored to have these men right here. These are hard times for all musicians, and so let's do what we can to get through this together. So anyways, with no further ado, let's let these guys do what they do best. Get back to it with Mim Shannon in the membership. In the meantime, wash your hands, stomp your feet.
Did you keep on snatching it back? I can't get no love, baby. Just got to keep on snatching it back.
Girl, you must have put the voodoo on me. But the cast a spell. Girl, the way you got me love you, girl. Ain't no tongue can tell. Must have been burning candles. Make your love so strong. Put some sprinkle that dust on around my bed. Had to have a black cat phone. Just at a glance, you know you had me in a trance. When I looked into your eyes, I knew I was hypnotized. Must have cast a spell. But the way you got me loving, girl, ain't no tongue to tell. You must have been by the count to make your love so strong. You must have sprinkled that dust all around. Bed. Had to have a black cat
It must have been the voodoo on me It must have cast a spell Girl, the way you got me love you, girl Ain't no tongue, ain't no tongue can tell Must have been burning candles To make your love so strong You must sprinkle dust all around my bed Had to have a black cat bone Call the one magnolia Tell them to break the spell on me For the black hawk mother does run I'm opening up the breeze. sun and heat. Well, this broadcast got to be worth at least 10 pounds lost. I hope everybody out there in, in cyberspace has been enjoying everything so far. We're trying to feel you. We know you're out there. We appreciate any help you may give us. Now, local musicians, keeping us in red beans and rice every Monday if you can. Straight in the eye. Said, I don't know what's wrong with you, big man. But you look sick enough to die. Sent me to the company doctor. He examined me from head to toe. Said, whatever's wrong with you, big man, I can't find it. Cause my ex-friends just won't show what angel of mercy has. Won't you please look down on me? Angel of mercy, angel of mercy. A little bit of mercy is all I swear that's all I need. Finance company, they just garnish my check. They want a payment by Friday Or they gonna take all this raggedy furniture back I went down to the credit union Tried to get myself a loan Said that you have it, big man, but we hear that You won't be working here much longer But angel of mercy Can't you please look down on me
Thank you. Merci Bocage. We go fun in cyberspace. Let's see if we can do this. I'm leaving for Memphis in the morning. Get past Jackson by the break of day. Yes, I'm leaving for Memphis in the morning. I gotta get past Jackson by the break of day. And I hate to leave you here all alone, but ain't enough of work for me at home. To go to where the people wanna hear me play. Where some people wanna hear me play. St. Louis by the weekend. The people there, they wanna hear my song. My song. St. Louis by the weekend. The people there, they want to hear, they want to hear my song. With a little more play on the radio, I wouldn't have such a long, hard way to go. And maybe I could spend a little more time. a little more time at home and tell his own saxophone Just like we 
membership laying down that real new orleans blues like only they can fantastic group that men put together to come in here and after this great performance we are going to sit down it's called sitting in with soul stew where i get to chat with these musicians talk to them about what they've been going through recently and just their history and uh, what's on their minds so please stick around for that of course, uh, stick around for some more great music. We are still raising money with our funk fund to keep this going and uh, keep helping out musicians in our community. So if you can, please uh, help out with that. We'd like to give a big shout out to the Kern family and Mr. Blaine Kern, the people who originated all these great floats and thank them for all they've done to help us. And of course, the crew of Tux. And uh, we'd like to thank our friend Captain Kirk, who's urging everyone to get out there and vote, register, get involved with everything. So it's a message we are sending to you. But anyways, it's been an honor to have these guys here. In the meantime, y'all, funk, soul, and equal justice for all. Funky Uncle Lounge. Thank you, Mim. You're welcome.
Club owner said he really liked the band, said, you guys can really do it. Had me with an envelope so thin, Stevie Wonder could see through it. Things was going kind of smooth and I was feeling really good about the band. Then the bass player quit, sack player got sick and the drummer stole my band. I'm paying my dues. And I think I'm paying Can't close, I can't close my eyes. Three o'clock in the morning, babe. Just can't close my eyes. Can't find my baby. And I can't, I just can't. just can't be found Yes, I've been trying to find my baby, baby But you just can't, you just can't be found If I don't look at her soon
believe, I believe, I believe. I believe this is the end. Oh, I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe this is the end. You happen to see my bed? Ask her to forgive me for all, 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 all my sins. All my sins. All my, all my, all my sins. All my sins. Mim Shannon and the membership live from the Funky Uncle Lounge. Gentlemen, that was just a, uh, a real blast, a pleasure and an honor to have you here at this stage. Thank you so much for coming in, laying down those New Orleans blues in the way that only y'all can. So that was, uh, that was wonderful. We'd like to thank everyone who's tuning in in the digital world and who's, uh, everyone who's donated to our Funk Fund. Thank you so much for your support so we can keep this going. Merci. It's, uh, it's hard times for everyone, but it's especially hard times for musicians. They were the, the first people to go out of work and be the last ones back. So everything we could do to help our local musicians in this community, we appreciate all the support we get. I'd like to thank our crew. We've got Accurate Audio, Lucid Lighting, and New Orleans Video Production for working so hard tonight not only make it look great and sound great, but do it safely for everyone. So we appreciate y'all. As always, couldn't do it without you. And of course, our friends over at the Crew of Tux. Got to give a shout out to our friend Captain Kirk for helping make this happen today. He's reminding everyone to get out there and vote. Appreciate Please. that. Absolutely. And of course, the Crew of Tux. So once again, my name's Soul Steel. I'm going to sit down here with these musicians in a little bit. We're going to have a little chat, see what's on their minds. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I can resist. Free my uncle. Someone tell me something. I didn't know. Like old times. <laughs> <laughs> at night. When you and your woman don't get along, I'm the reason you fuss and fight. 
morning comes and you don't want to get up out of your bed that's me i'm on my job i'm helping with your head and i remember last week to wreck your head with that truck don't blame that on me that was my twin brother mr bad luck but i'm the reason why y'all mim shannon and the membership live from the funky uncle lounge honored to have y'all here gentlemen thank you so much my name is soul Stu. thank you everyone who's tuned in and uh y'all don't go anywhere just yet we're gonna sit down and have a little chat it's gonna be a lot of fun so stick around for sitting in with soul Stu. and if you could still show us some love to the funk fun please do so we can keep this going appreciate y'all in the meantime wash your hands stomp your feet see you in a bit who that
and shoes on. Every
put your dancing shoes on and just sing a song. So I figured I was gonna go ahead on and do something else. You see, but when music is down now in your blood, or deep down in your bone marrow, it don't let you go so easy. So what I did, I surrendered. And in my surrender, I wrote this song right here. Now listen, original lyrics on top of a familiar groove. I know y'all know this groove right here. But I want y'all to listen to my story. Sing a song.
gentlemen, we are back at it here at the Funky Uncle Lounge. My name is Soul Stew, and this is Sitting In with Soul Stew. I get to sit down here with these fine musicians, have a chat, see what's on their mind. I'm all uh, hot and sweaty. Had to switch up the shirt because Mim and the boys had me rocking out so hard on that Mardi Gras float that uh, I got uh, got covered in uh, covered in sweat. So they always do that, you know, when we're cold sweats right when we're boogieing down so anyways it's a pleasure to have them here hanging out with me right now so mim mim shannon the great the new orleans legend sitting right here next to me how you doing sir it's an honor to have you here man how you been man how you been dealing with these strange times we're living through hmm? how you been living <laughs> how you been living man how, how you getting by in these strange times that we're living through <laughs> yes sir yeah. oh you're the, you're mim shannon right that's what i hate <laughs> You're not Lance motherfucking Ellis. <laughs> <laughs> he is, though. <laughs> you know what? I've been coping like everybody else, you know? Yeah. Trying to stay as safe as I can. I hear that. You know, I'm still not trusting it enough that I want to get back out there and gig like I was. It's, of course. It's just, we don't want you to do that either, man. We yeah. want you to stay safe. And, I'm, and I'm, I'm in that age group. You are. Absolutely. You can yeah, tell. You, know, you awesome. You first. mean you can tell? You can, <laughs> that was your chance oh, to compliment me and say I would look like a young fella. <laughs> Well, <sighs> you're beyond a young player. You got the old man strength, man. That's what us youngsters are trying to, to get to. You've evolved past that. You're, you're on a whole new level, the yeah. OG level. There you go. The, the ancient wisdom level. You made up well. That's the <laughs> <that's> thing. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to doing these things here. But, man, you've been, you've been playing blues for years down here now. You were a, you were a cab driver back in the day, right? 15 years. For 15 man. years, all over Bourbon and Street. 90s, yeah. So, I mean, I, I can imagine driving a cab in New Orleans in the French Quarter you see, in the I 80s. was a real cab driver. No damn GPS. <laughs> oh, no, I right. Knew where the hell I was going. Yeah, exactly. Now anybody can be a cab driver. Right, you back then. Put a phone in the car and you can be a cab. You know? Right. Yeah. Back then, I mean, you had to know these neighborhoods like the back of your hand to get around. Yep, you know where to run and where to hide. Yeah. So what's the, what's the craziest thing you saw driving a cab oh, down here, man? Or well, one of them. I'm sure there's too many to even think you of. You have to ask me that one. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Nothing I can say on the air. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fair hey, this is the internet, man. We can say what we want. <laughs> no, you good. No FCC. No, is. but I got to get out of here in one piece. <laughs> oh, I, I hear you there. <laughs> All right, well, you, you, you know, your secrets will be safe with me if you want to talk. Yeah, we'll talk after when the camera's <laughs> on. Well, at least when they tell me they're on. Absolutely. So, uh, so man, how'd you, how'd you grow up? <laughs> right. How'd you grow up playing the blues in New Orleans? Who were your mentors growing up? Well, you get you know, I, B.B. King, I used to see B.B. King on TV, you know, on Johnny Carson show. Yeah. And I was already playing clarinet in, in, in school. And once I started seeing him regular, I just, I had to have a guitar. I had to try to sp make my instrument speak like he did. And I'm still trying, you know. Oh, aren't we all? That's my, that's my idol right there. No one better than BB. No. <laughs> well, what was the blues scene like down here when you were coming up? It wasn't much at all. It was know, more it, kind of it, funk and soul, right? Yeah, you exactly. know, blues players were special The first bands I went was in was like a top 40 band. Yeah, top 40 R&B band. But every once in a while, we would stick a blues song in the set, and all the neighbors, the older neighbors, would mm. come and, and listen. Yeah. Then when we went back to the R&B stuff, they went back on their porch. And then the young folks would come <laughs> back. <and laughs> yeah. back to yeah. nice. So I knew it was something, something was happening there. You know. Yeah. It just kind of evolved into what I'm doing now. Nice. Because there are a lot of blues lovers in this in this city, but I feel like that New Orleans blues doesn't get quite the uh, international recognition. Yeah, we're known more for mm -hmm. for, for drums. Drummers, and horn right. players, yep. and piano players, yep. but not so much guitar players. Okay. Hmm. So was that did that growing up? Was it a uh, was it hard to find like the the type of sound that you wanted, or was it, it was it also was it easier to get gigs? And there weren't everyone was playing drums or guitar. Yeah. You, you well, found well, a little well, niche. When, when I started, it was it was like it was a people needed bass players. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone always needs a bass yeah, player. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I ain't switching <laughs> up. <to> <laughs> I ain't taking wheels. It's disposable. Right. <laughs> it's disposable. Wrong but way. Yeah. Get a new one the next day. There you go. <laughs> but uh, I, I stuck with it. You know. mm. yeah. Who were some of the local blues guys who were gigging around the same time you were coming up? I mean, obviously Walter, I'm Walt guessing. Walter's, like, that's my local it person. Yeah, so big it. shout out to Walter. Yeah. yeah, Walter, we love you. It's like, you know, he just, all he has to do is sit there and, and hold the guitar. He didn't have to sit there. Right. He's amazing. He really is. And what about Snooks? Were y'all tight? Oh man. man, we weren't tight, but still. You see him a lot. He yeah. just he blew me away, man. Uh, me too. And to this day, he's one of the most yeah. amazing musicians yeah. I've ever seen in my life. So. Not, no, no style he couldn't do. Right, Cuban yeah. jukebox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. 
Well, man, how'd you uh, put this band together? Have you guys been gigging with this lineup before the, before the yeah, COVID? Yeah, these guys have been with me for about 10 years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we started off. Lance, Lance even longer. Lance started way back with me. I was me. born with him. He, yeah, 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 <laughs> we, came, we came from the womb together. Yeah. <laughs> well, talk about here, you and uh, Mr. So Lance, tell us over here. Talk about how y'all met and came up together and started playing music. Mm -hmm. well, Lance was in my, my first band. Nice. Yeah. I'm an original member. Yeah. Original, original member. Original member of the But he's, lately he's been out with a, what, what's the name of the, the war band? What? No Rider Band. That band. Oh, No nice. Rider Band. Yeah. Band. He's a regular with him, Terrence Simeon. Yeah, so, Terrence Simeon and he, too. And you know, he'll show up when I, when I can catch him. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and when he don't show up, we get the money less. <laughs> gotcha. More, right? <laughs> <actually. laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. And Lance, when you were coming up in New Orleans, who were some of the sax players that uh, were inspiring you? Well, I want to say not from New Orleans. Okay. So I say Grover Washington Jr. <laughs> nice. He was the man. He was the cat. He's everybody's cat. Absolutely. Grover, Imagine. Standing turn team. Yeah. You know. So you're a big jazz player, you are not just blues, you're really? heavy on the jazz, heavy on the jazz side yeah, of things. I think I'm an instrumentalist. Just, yeah. Just, I love music. I just call my music music. I don't really right. categorize it too much. Uh -huh. Because, you know, you feel what you feel when you do you. Absolutely. And uh, that stuff been around for a long time. The sure. music and whatever skills and moves that you're going to play has been there. Right. So now, uh, you do you, I'm going to do me. <laughs> and we're willing to meet in the middle. <laughs> so we're going to play some good music. You know? Absolutely. And the chemistry will happen. That's, a, that's all about the chemistry, you know, like making the gumbo. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Just the right yeah. seasoning to make it pop. Yeah, you gotta respect the music. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, y'all sound fantastic together. And then, of course, you know, when I walked in today, first person I saw was Mr. Will Repold standing outside. I got mm. excited. I was like, all right, yeah, I know. Buddy. Yeah, I know my rhythm section is going to be on point here. Yeah, How exactly. you feeling, Mr. Repples? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. You uh, gig with all types of bands around town. I try to be diverse. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, so, yeah. what you been doing to stay busy? Uh, in these strange days we've been living I'm, through. I'm lucky I got like a farm at my old place. So it's basically just like chickens and frogs and dogs and stuff to keep me, <laughs> keep me occupied. <laughs> hey, all right, there you go. You know, as long as you've got animals to occupy your day, I think that's yeah. good. I've done some live streams with a few other artists. So you and Dave Jordan were doing? Yeah, we did a few. Yeah. I did a couple with Margie Perez. She's great. It's mm -hmm. always good seeing her, and uh, it's always great to see these guys. We got together for the first time just a few days ago to rehearse, and that was a good time. What? And uh, just having, just being able to play with a drummer again, it's just like, oh, I miss right. that so much. I yeah, some of those last things they haven't been using in full, full. Yeah, kitchen. you strip it yeah. down, it's just like a duo, or yeah. it's just like some Simon and Garfunkel stuff. I need a drummer. I need a beat behind me. <laughs> right, especially one like Gene over exactly. here, too. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, have you been? Uh, have you been working on writing anything? Working on any new music? No, I contributed to to a couple of things like virtually. I'm just not very technologically proficient. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't even own a laptop that. right now. So <laughs> if anybody wants to buy me one, <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't. I don't need one. I need less stuff. But uh, no, I, I'm just. Uh, I did a couple like little collaboration things that are yeah, going to get yeah. published and, and put out there. It's just it's a weird day and age because hmm. right, technology has taken over so much, and right. we, we need that. Yeah. And it's gonna set the bar for like live gigs and, and all that yeah. stuff now too. Like for you know, sure. clubs are gonna have streams and f live feeds and stuff probably. We're gonna pile everybody in pickup trucks and do yard <laughs> gigs. <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 Play Social from the back distance. of a truck. Yep. There. Six feet away. I saw Josh Paxton playing piano in the back of a pickup on Oak I've, Street. I started that. Yeah. That like was a, good. Yeah. I don't know That's if I can awesome. drop names and stuff. The but piano like, truck. Yeah. The piano good. on a truck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was awesome. Oh, well, how did you and Mim get hooked up? Through Gene. Through Gene. Nice. That brings us to our, our <laughs> next guest, and last but not least, <laughs> Gene of Gene's Music Machine and so many other great bands here in New Orleans. Gene, how you feeling over there, my man? Man, I feel like a million trillion bucks. I just mm -hmm. had some fun. Good. I don't man. know about the rest of y'all, but I had mm -hmm. some fun tonight. Well, you're also a, uh, you're a, a, a repeat player here on the Funky Uncle. We had you uh, with your band in here a couple weeks ago, and that was fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's great to have you back, man. What's it like to get in here and actually get to play with the band again? Well, it's, it's awesome anytime I can play with Mim, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, absolutely. I've been knowing him before I, before I was a drummer. I've been knowing him. Yeah. Exactly. That's a story Mim right was, there. Mim was the only cab driver that would give me a ride home when him I was and like his brother. 18. Him and his brother. No 
Yeah. And Gene wasn't even playing drums back then. He was like 18, yeah. 19 years old. And him and his brother worked, worked on Bourbon Street. Yeah. yeah. And I was friends with their grandfather, who was a cab driver from 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 way uh-huh. back. And they, would, I knew them. I knew they weren't going to do me anything. Right. So, right. Yeah. right. So so we worried about there. people robbing us. We yeah, yeah. like <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. the cab driver rob us. Man. Right. But uh, yeah, man. Different days. I've yeah. been playing with Mim after Katrina. I was playing on Frenchman a lot, and yeah, I used to see you every night of the week with the different. Players. Oh yeah, man. Well, you get him where you fit in. That's yeah. the way it was. I don't know how it's gonna be when we get back, but right. uh, you know, it's gonna be a little change, a little different. Mm-hmm. But we'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. You know, so until then, I just been staying safe and good, and you know, playing at home. Yeah, you nice. Know, exactly. Nice. Hey. Garage mm-hmm. band is a beautiful thing. Yeah. <laughs> You've been working on any music with that with the music machine? Uh, like a couple of things, man. I, I've been we we did one little song. We did one song that uh, you know, when we when we played Freedom and I've been working on some more stuff, so is 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 it's different collaborating when you don't have somebody in the room. You know, to yeah. feel that energy, even Absolutely. if it's just two people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, manufacturing. But hey, you know, it is what it is. And hey, we musicians. You adapt and evolve with it no matter and what. Like right? pizza, at its worst, it's still good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, Eugene, like we have so many different styles. I've seen you play here in New Orleans. I've seen you play with funk bands, with all types of stuff. What's it like playing blues with men? It's kind of a different groove than some of the more kind of. But well, you have a funky, but you have a funky the thing, though, man, that I really say, enjoy. Mem, Mem plays the blues, but it's funk, man. Right. So yeah. that was right up my alley. Uh-huh. All I do is lay in the pocket, and pocket, give him a backbeat, and make them work. Yeah, you make me work. Yeah, well, whoever <laughs> gonna work? But all you gotta Let's do is get a break, bro. Make it, make, make it give him the space because Mem writes some beautiful music. Absolutely. So you know, for me, I just really try to stay out the way of his his vocals and make it sound mm-hmm. good, but Serve that's the, the main thing, because you don't want to miss the words. If you miss the words, go back and listen to this rebroadcast or whatever, yeah. because the every song is a story. Absolutely. You, know? oh, yeah. Man, you lived it, that's for sure, right? You're not just singing yeah. the blues. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. live the life. I <laughs> swear it, I did most of that stuff. <laughs> I believe yeah. it. <laughs> I believe it. Well, what do you see as a, is there a future of New Orleans blues, or I mean, when y'all go on, what's uh, I mean, y'all kind of last of the torchbearers. Yeah, you know, there's some youngsters coming along. You know. Yeah. Anyone that's gotten your ear lately that you're digging there's on? There's a guy uh, befriended on Facebook, Quan Wills. Uh, okay. Calls himself John Tavius on stage. Uh-huh. He's an acoustic blues guy. Nice. I think he's out of. I want to say Georgia. See? Really good. He opened for Cab Mo. Okay. A year ago when when he came through here. Yeah. Got the house. Nice. Yeah, and he was like 20 then. 20, oh yeah, wow. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Good to know. Yeah. To check in there's, there's a lot of a lot of 20 year olds out here coming up, you know. Good. Uh, Kingfish. Oh, Kingfish is great, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. Is I haven't seen him live yet. I haven't either. I was yeah. listening to the records. Yeah, he's a bad yeah. He's playing blues crew. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He's a great guitar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's good. Blues guy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, back in the day, man, I know you said BB King was your hero. Did y'all ever get to cross paths, hang out at all? Man, two times. Nice. That's I don't have a picture from either time. Yeah. The first time was at Jazz Fest. He was. I was getting ready to go on. Just after him. So I got backstage. And this was pre cell phone days, so I had a act a real camera. I thought it was a real camera. Uh-huh. That damn thing exploded. <laughs> right. <laughs> I handed it to somebody and it fell apart. Right in front of me. Oh, no. I didn't get my BB King pitch. It was the next time I, I played one of his uh things where he's from. Yeah, homecoming. and you know the homecoming, did, the Club uh, Ebony, right? Yeah, I went out there to do do the homecoming with another band. In fact, it was a. Uh, I can't. What's his name? Baton Rouge. I want to get his name. Rafe. Rafe. I went out there with, with Rafe O'Neal, and I went. And I saw BB coming out. This is my chance to finally get a picture with him. But everybody else crowded him. Of course, yeah. And I'm like, I couldn't do it. I couldn't participate in that. that So I just let it go. But the times you hung with him, he was cool, huh? Yeah, you know, he he made me. When I met him at Jazz Fest, I had covered one of his tunes on my CD. Uh And I wanted him to have a copy. And he made me sign it. 
<laughs> so I'll never forget that. Remember and what? if anybody out there was backstage with cameras, you got a picture. Back when that happened, me, man, send me the damn picture, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, uh, before we get out here, man, what makes Louisiana blues has definitely got its own flavor from any of the other styles of blues. Oh, yeah. I feel. What do you feel makes it different? What's so special about the beat? The beat. Yeah, absolutely. You you leave here, everything gets kind of. It's not just well, a straight it shuffle. It's right. a little more syncopated. It's a little right. more stiff. And this, the syncopation is what makes all the music here stand out. Absolutely. All of it. Mm. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's words of wisdom right there from the man himself. And, you know, we're getting a little hot here. I think the <laughs> stage is still smoldering yeah. from that set. Y'all just burned down. But uh, appreciate y'all coming in. We know there's a, a lot going on. But uh, the fact that y'all came here and took your time to be here with us means a lot. And uh, we hope everyone out there watching it means a lot to y'all, too. And uh, please, you know, help out with the Funky Uncle so we can keep bringing musicians like this. And before we go, anything else y'all like to say to the people out there? Thank you. Yeah, just thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. This is a great say. experience. I, I would like to mm -hmm. give a shout-out to Sharon. I would like to give a shout-out to uh, the West Side, all my people. <laughs> And, uh, we, don't have no, we don't have no West Side. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Chicago. What? 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 Amen to that, Lance. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you all for sharing your love with us today, and uh, we sure felt it. We hope everyone out there in the uh, the digital world did too. Hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say one more thing. Absolutely, man. It's never too late to give. That's all true. I'm never too late to give. It's never too late to give. Go ahead, yeah. on, man. Absolutely. Feel free. Man. Set Even yourself. years after you see this, you can still do it. <laughs> <laughs> Track down old Gene out of gig, throw some of the tip jar. Absolutely, yeah. We know the rate of exchange for everything. Right. Right. <laughs> well, I know how hard y'all work at your music, and I see y'all out there every night, and I know, it's, I know it's tough to not be able to play for the people like you're so used to. But uh, yeah, It's different. But I, hope, I hope they felt something. They, I, really I know they felt it, and we're just glad that y'all are staying safe so you can uh, keep making this great music happen for many more years to come. It's just something how the, how the world changed in the last few months. I mean, absolutely overnight. Right? The world's different. A whole other world, right? Yeah. If you've been around you've been around for a long time, you've probably seen a lot of... I didn't expect to see this. Come, but nothing no. like this, huh? No. Yep, I hear that. No. I hear that. Well, we're glad that you're staying safe, ma'am, and... Uh, Glad that you're still here and, and playing the blues for us, and uh, I can't wait to see you play again. All right. So, always an honor. So, we're out there. Thank you for tuning into the Funky Uncle. And of course, check out Mim Shannon and the membership. Mim's got plenty of great albums. I mean, you just, it'll take you days to listen to them all, but you'll be grooving the whole time. Watch That's the fantastic. reruns of us on NCIS. Oh, yeah, he's on <laughs> NCIS. Absolutely. And then when things kick back up, you know, these guys will be out there. Uh, you know, smoking the stages once again. We will be out there on the road, so no I'll keep that an eye. Anyway, from all of us at the Funky Uncle Soul Stews, and peace out. Wash your hands. Stop your feet. See you next time. Whoa! <laughs> all right. I'd like to thank my manager and everybody who's come out to support me and support this during this crazy time. So listen, if you feel the need in your heart, I need you guys to dig into your pockets and donate to these amazing causes. And I'm just so glad that I can be here to be a part of this support because I am included in that, you know? So it's a blessing to be here and to be able to sing, to do what I love. I get my air back. I get the chance to breathe again. Yeah. So I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. This has been absolutely amazing. It's been heaven for me to be able to get up here and sing for you a little bit, all right? So I hope I uh, took you away from your troubles for a little while. You guys stay safe, and I say stay your ass at home because ain't ready yet. <laughs> here we go. Ooh, all is lady. I'm a nice world race, baby. Bloom, but I'm ready for the being changed. Uh, New Orleans lady, I'm a nice world race, baby. I'm a late bloom, but I'm ready for the being changed. Erica is my name. Yeah, we're good.